Shopping for shawl yarns. Or socks. Or socks. Or socks. I love it. We are in Northwest Yarns in Bellingham, Washington. Ooh, pan, panning, panning. Gorgeous shop. The upstairs loft, spinning wheels, all kinds of yarn and fiber. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. Thanks for letting us hang out. Thank you for You've coming. We've got so many beautiful things in here. Thank you. Do me a huge, huge favor and tell me one more time about this about the sheep churro yarn okay. that I'm about to buy because it's all the brown and gray. Yeah, so I those love. are all na the natural colors of the sheep. Gorgeous. Um, it was it's a sheep that is a long wool sheep, so it has a very long fiber. It's very durable. Yep. Um, the and and it can have up to six horns. Oh my word! On the sheep. I've got to find um, some pictures. It was the main sheep of the Navajo mm -hmm. Indians. <laughs> and when the um, colonials mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, forced them off their land, um, they slaughtered all of the sheep. And they thought the sheep was extinct mm -hmm. until um, they found about, I, it's like 30 or 40 years ago, they mm -hmm. found a rogue band of wild a herd of wild churro and so now they've gone through an a, a extensive breeding program brought the breed back yep. and it's being used again for the That's navajo amazing. rugs incredibly I, durable what a cool story i am going to get some of this yarn those of you who've watched the podcast know that all of these colors are my favorites and it is pretty sturdy you can just tell it's really yeah it's indestructible browns and grays and tan and beige. I think it's going to be a shawl project. Thank you, Heather. Yeah, there's a really great, um, if you go on YouTube, yeah. there are videos. Her name is Clara, mm -hmm. and she's no longer with us, but there's all these videos of her um, with her, her herds of churro sheep. So if and I were to search Clara, Clara and churro. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also she does, a, there's a demonstration of her doing a Navajo spindle, which oh, are cool. these guys. Heather has a lot of amazing spinning tools and accessories in her so this shop. This is one that you 
spin on your thigh and it spun off the tip oh, of the um, I've never seen that. Yeah. So you're you're drafting in one hand. You're and, drafting on one hand, yeah. pulling it spun off the spike. Oh wow. Which is what all you know, spinning was done on a spinning wheel. It was spun off a spike before the bobbin was invented. That's amazing, and because it has such a long what what is that part called? Is that like the shaft, shaft. of it? Yeah, because it has so, such a long see, shaft, yeah, you, you could do a lot, lot of, of. It helps if you put it in a bowl. Oh, yep, I could see that. Yeah, very cool. Is that is what's the way that you prefer to spin? How do you uh, like I well, my wheel. I have a Maja Craft little gem. This is my personal wheel. Um, I love it because oh, it's nice. It has a really nice drive system. I don't spin, it's but super spin. because of all the toys, yeah, <laughs> I, could, I could see that happening. It's a New Zealand wheel made out of Rimu, and um, the whole thing takes apart and folds up. Very so cool. you put it in a bag and carry it with you. But the thing that we have that is special, mm -hmm. very very special, it's right over here. Okay, I'm following you. Yep. So these are our Turkish drop spindles. I've heard of those, never seen one and in And these are made locally by a local woodworker named Joel Grinstead. Yeah. And I need fiber to okay. spin with. Oh, we're gonna get a demonstration. <laughs> How fun. Um, I didn't even see these fiber, oh, yeah. huge fiber <laughs> bats back here. Wow. Okay, let's get here some light though. So we've found some great local dyed yarn, now locally spun. Some of Heather's hand spun is here in the shop. And now locally made tools. Yeah, the Turkish Washington spindle people is my to get here. favorite style of drop spindle. It's a bottom whirl, which means the weight is in the bottom instead of the top. Okay. And this is a larger one, which makes larger yarn. Very cool, I'm gonna get a close up on the spindle. Yeah. And this one, I don't know if you can see, but it does make rainbows oh, cool. when you spin because it has rainbow oh, laminate. Yeah. So it's even visually oh, enjoyable. Yeah. These are super you're beautiful. So that is Amazing. my favorite style, and it winds on and makes a ball Check of yarn. Out, you guys. So you can spin and wind the ball all at one time. That's beautifully made. All wood. Yeah. Very this nice. is this one is Peruvian walnut. And what's the name of the artist who crafts those? Uh, Joel Grinstead. Very cool. And um, it yeah. seems like you have a, a good amount of local suppliers. Yes, for the so shop. we have a lot of talent around here, which is really nice. Do you guys have knit nights or any kind yes, of regularly we scheduled? Do. Yeah. Um, we had one last. Oh, last night we had a spin in. Nice. So we had this whole room full of yep, spinners, and then we have the extra nice. chairs that we pull out. Um, for our knit nights. We have a Tuesday night one. Tuesday night, knit night. Okay. Cool. And then we have a Wednesday afternoon one. And nice. then we also do Stitch and Bitch at the Racket, which is the pinball bar. I love that. On, sa on Sundays. So that's where we get the drinking and the knitting. Perfect. Yeah. Come check it out. So we'll let me know. So much beautiful color in here, and I found some yarns that I'll share with you guys that I'm going to make some socks. And I'm definitely going to get some of that extra special true yarn. Um, hence the, uh, you know, you have giant things popping off of it. Like art <laughs> yarn. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So that's with pom poms, but you can do that. I've done that with the felt balls before. That's so fun. What yeah. else? What else do people do? Uh, Just you like can make so cute. decorations. Yeah. yeah, you can put them like at the end of a scarf, at the end of your. Um, oh yeah. Or yeah. You can make, make garlands. Makes earrings out of them. Yeah. You yeah. can make garlands out of them. They are Small really children cool. like to play with them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Lots of great samples and different yarn types in the shop. the location. It was really easy to get here. Lots of space for sitting and knitting, which my beautiful friends did earlier. I found a Shannon! <laughs> I'm about to purchase yarn. She's buying yarn. <laughs> yeah. In a yarn store. What? Can you even? <laughs> I found a Mars! I'm in heaven right now. <laughs> Nice. What are you doing? I'm buying a spindle. Oh, yes. 
A new rabbit hole has opened up yes. in Washington. It's a Turkish drop spindle by Joel Grinstead. Yes, Heather was showing me upstairs how to use it. It's pretty cool. Can I see the fiber you're gonna spin? Yes, so the so. first one will be pole work. Yes, love it. And then this one down the road is Yak and Merino. Oh, my shawl that you're making me is gonna be so beautiful with that. <laughs> okay. right here. These are stitch markers that Heather has made using the wire from the inner parts of a pinball machine. Very cool. Make whips, not waste, people. Elise, let me see what we're getting. The amazing Heather insisted we must leave with these gorgeous project bags. <laughs> with the shop mascot, Nithulu. Gorgeous, gorgeous, I love it so much. Thank you, Heather. This is, this is where we go after the yarn fumes. Yeah. Ladies. We need to refuel. <laughs> like... A big thank you to Shannon and Elise who came to visit me while on my journey in Washington. And thanks to you all for being part of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed our visit to Northwest Yarns, and I hope that spring has sprung where you are and you're enjoying time for making. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to be notified when I post another episode. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Happy making. Bye.